This video is all about Zeitin Bernu and Marmara Forum, which is a retail mall in Istanbul. Make sure you subscribe to see more Turkey videos. This was our second full day in Istanbul and we wanted to go shopping by we, I mean mostly Medina, her aunt and her mother. However, I went along for the ride. The shopping in Istanbul is much different than what you will find in America. A lot of places will want to barter with you. Some places don't even have prices on anything. That's less common if you go to the mall, but if you're in Zeytinburnu, which is a smaller area, some places may not have their prices listed. In this case, you have to barter with them and try to get a good deal. Let us know in the comments below if you've ever been shopping in Istanbul. Hit that like button if you enjoy this video. Location to get the yard Turkish lira changed. They show the rates on the stores so you can see what you're going to get for how much. And um, this one here is charging about 1%, so not too bad. Here in the Zeytin Bernu area of Istanbul, lots of shops. We came here to shop today. and. Um, uh, very interesting, some nicer areas, some not so nice areas, but it's a mix and um, I'll show you around here. Lots of shops, lots of small bakeries, just kind of a more uh, normal area of Turkey, not so touristic. Oh, it is? Okay. Uh -huh. It's all cheese. Yes, got it. Oh, meat. some it's of meat. them was meat. Oh, oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, do you want something? To um, drink? I don't think. So. No, we're good. Let's so, uh, try, 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 try. Try this, then I don't Wow. So this is meat. <laughs> this is meat, obviously. And then this, this is one cheese. Looks like a cottage cheese. It's for cottage me. cheese. Okay. I think. Nice. But there is a more. Well, um, no. Flaky? Flaky or my Fluffy? Uh, fat. Oily. Oh, oily. oily. More oily. Okay. okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like that. Too strong. Too strong. Yeah, yeah. Zeytin Burnu was this really off the beaten path area of Istanbul, which I enjoy because I like to see those places that are not so touristy. And this was definitely, Zeytin Bruno was definitely not a touristic area. At least the parts that we were walking around. You got a real feel of what it was like to actually live in Istanbul away from all the tourist attractions. You do want to make sure that you at least know a little bit of Turkish if you're going in these areas because since there are not as many tourists, the locals do not necessarily speak English. This could be a problem if you're trying to order food or trying to barter with someone. We're here at the Marmara Mall. We spent pretty much all day shopping today. Uh, Medina's mom and aunt uh, got some leather jackets that they were looking for. But now we're here just doing some shopping for ourselves. We found a bunch of very cheap, good quality clothing for our child and for us. And uh, now we're trying Donair, our first, our first pretty much Donair uh, of our trip. Yep. It is really good so far, but I know I have tried more uh, more delicious one in Kazakhstan. We do have like Turkish places also, um, but this is also good. I liked it and uh, mentioned the price. So uh, for all of this, we got two doner, we got some fries and some drinks. Iran. Well, explain what that iron. is. What is Iran? So Iran is they say yogurt drink. Mm -hmm. 
for about uh, six US dollars. Uh, very, very cheap. Um, pretty good quality. You can see there's a lot of different shops here in this food court. Um, all kinds of food. A lot of chains, uh, which is kind of expected, I guess, especially if you look at US malls. So we got like an Arby's, KFC here. Um, but they also do have some more Turkish restaurants as well. The place we got this from is called uh, Usta Donarshi. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but... Yeah, yeah, that's correct. But I guess I don't know what does Usta mean. Yeah. Donarshi is just Donair, basically. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, very good. In the mall, things are priced better than what you would find in a mall in America. However, it's not insanely cheap. It's still cheaper. And the quality of the clothing is usually much better than what you would find in America, at least at that price point. So we got quite a few different outfits for Zachary when we were there. Bought a lot of baby clothes, especially too. A lot of the clothes there are 100% cotton, which you may not find in America. Marmara Forum is a large mall near the Marmara Sea. Honestly, we didn't even know that because we went there based on a recommendation. Dina's mom and aunt heard about this jacket shop that was in Zaitenburnu. We went there, they got some great jackets. They were nice and kind enough to get one for me as well. And it is a high quality store. You could tell the prices were pretty reasonable. Um, definitely cheaper than what you would find in America. And they recommended us to go to the Marmara Mall, Marmara Forum Mall. When we got there, uh, we didn't realize until afterwards that we were very close to the Marmara Sea. If you're going to the Marmara Forum Mall, I would recommend actually checking out the sea as well. Uh, if we ever go back there, we would definitely check that out because it looks like a beautiful area. The mall itself is very large, has a lot of shops. You can spend all day there if you wanted to. Okay, so we had a um, day of shopping today. All day. All day. <laughs> and we realized how difficult it is to use the public transit system if you're not familiar with it. How to, how to get the Istanbul card and how to activate it. And uh, how to reload your money onto it. So it's a process and then the bus system was very challenging today as well. Um, it's a Saturday, it's right after the COVID restrictions have been lifted, and there's also some festivals going on. The real struggle came though when we wanted to get back to our Airbnb, and I talked about this a little bit in our Airbnb review. The Airbnb was quite far from a lot of the areas of Istanbul that most people would go to, so getting a bus back, which is what we wanted to do to try to save some money, was a complete headache. We ended up finding out that just because a bus stop was there doesn't mean that the bus will actually stop. If the bus is full, they're just gonna keep on going. So we literally at one point had to chase a bus down because we were waiting like an hour and a half to get a bus back to the area where our Airbnb was. And that was just brutal. And then when we got on the bus, it was hot. They didn't have any air conditioning and it was packed with people. Not a good environment for my wife who was pregnant at the time. I'll show you a little bit of just how crazy the streets are and uh, how tough it was to get on to this bus. We had to wait for probably about an hour. All the times were off. This bus barely stopped for us. We had to run, run and chase it down. So uh, we'll show you here. third day here second real really full day yesterday lots of shopping <laughs> <laughs> yeah whole day we spent for shopping so we uh, had some pretty good food yesterday um, done air was really good uh, we just got it from the mall um, what else were some of the highlights of yesterday my mom and aunt found this amazing place um, from other bloggers on the YouTube and we checked the quality is really good and the price is also good compared to um, uh, price in Kazakhstan or in Russia so they got um, multiple things from there for themselves 
and uh, they're pretty happy with their purchase. We went to the mall there mm -hmm. um, and yeah today I think we're just gonna take it easy because yesterday was a lot of hassle with getting around trying to use public transportation. Overall it was a decent day of shopping. I'm not a big shopping guy so uh, more enjoyable definitely for Medina's aunt and mom. Even Medina was getting tired of shopping after a while. <clears throat> my, my recommendation may be a little bit skewed, but I would say uh, Zeitin Bernu is cool to check out if you want to get away from the hustle and bustle of the tourist areas. I would say Marmara Forum is a good mall if you're looking to go to a average sized mall in Istanbul. However, neither of these places I would say are places you have to go. I would say they're all about average. I like to call that a check it out if you want to type place. Let us know in the comments below if you've ever been to Turkey. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and we will be back with more Turkey videos very very shortly. Thank you again for watching. We will see you next time. Bye bye.